Hello, boys and girls, moms and dads, and my fellow coaches. Coach Jerry here from Newark American Little League T-Ball Phillies. Today, I want to talk to my fellow coaches about keeping your players on task, whether it be out on the field on defense or on the bench when they're waiting for their turn to bat. For one thing, if you're the head coach, you can't do it all by yourself. So you need to recruit a couple coaches. It's pretty easy most of the time I'm asking the parents for volunteers. Usually you can get a couple, two or three. What you would really need is like two coaches for the bases when they're batting, one for first and one for third. Then it's really important, you need a bench coach. That's very important to keep the children in their seats in their batting order. So we're gonna, we're gonna start with the uh, batting. So what I usually have for each game is a batting order from one to 10 or nine, whoever, how many uh, players you have. Everyone will bat. So you'll get everybody in a circle. And you'll say, okay, if you have your own helmet, which you're allowed to do, you can buy your own helmet. Most, some children do. Go get your helmets and come on over. And then I will have my list and I will read the batting order starting with the first child and where they're gonna be sitting. Cause you wanna be really organized right in a row. So they're, when it's their turn to bat, they get up and they come up to bat. So you just go all the way down the list, call the child's name and they sit down. Next person will sit next to them. And your league usually um, gives you a, a lot of equipment. So you will have some extra helmets. So the child doesn't have a helmet that they brought themselves and you just give them one of your team helmets. So most of the players should have helmets sitting down, waiting for their turn to bat. Definitely you don't want them holding a bat in their hands. The only time, only person holding a bat will be the player coming up to bat and they won't even grab one until they come up right by the plate. Then you give them the bat, they can practice their swings. So then the coach's jobs, you'll have one at first base, and one and third. I usually start at home plate just to help them out, you know, with their swing and their form. And um, then I switch up different innings, like I'll move over to first and move another coach to home plate. So we try to rotate. I try to rotate the coaches so they all have a different, a different um, position as far as the batting. So after everyone is batting, the whole team will bat. Usually the last player will go all the way around when they hit the ball. We usually let the last player circle the bases. Then once everybody is done batting, then it'll be turned for defense. So you'll say to everybody, go get your gloves and come on out to the field. I usually go out to the pitcher's mound and have all the team there. In our league, the two positions, first base and pitcher have to wear helmets because that's where most of the balls go in a game, either the pitcher's mound or first. So those two, <clears throat> excuse me, those two positions, they will be wearing helmets. So when you call out the positions, whoever's playing pitcher, say, go get your helmet and come over to the pitcher and then you'll go around all the different positions. The best thing to keep them standing in one position when they're there, like at third base, is to draw a circle. I like doing that. They don't have to stand there, but it's a good start for them. They just stay in the circle. That way they know where they're gonna be playing. So I will call out all the different positions. Usually we have, you know, eight or nine or maybe even 10 children. And I usually put them all in the infield. So, you know, besides the regular positions, we we'll squeeze them in next to each other. And, um, then when they're ready, then the other team will come up and start batting. But the way to um, keep them organized, because you're going to have children that are digging in the dirt, looking up in the sky, talking to their friend next to them, saying they have to go to the bathroom, all different things, you know. And so you got to prepare and get ready, you know, keep them on task. So, I'm, of course, I start with the baseball ready, everybody, you know, and show them the position, you know, bending your knees, having your glove down. And I yell, who wants the ball? That's just the way I keep them up. And, and usually you hear them all yell, I do, I do. So I'm just trying to you know, talk to them and keep them on task. And like I said, you'll see somebody with their glove off, maybe sitting in the dirt, you know, so 
I usually try to just run over there and, you know, try to say, oh, here comes the ball. I better get ready. And, you know, maybe pick him up off the ground, say, here's your glove. Make sure you put it on your right hand and then get him to stand up. So that's where you need your coaches out there also. You'll usually have um, two other coaches besides yourself. One can be on one side of the field, one on the other, and then one in the middle. That way, you, know, you as a head coach isn't doing, you know, you're not doing all the work. It's very important because you, you really can't do it all yourself. So it's really tough to keep them on task. Like I said, they'll be digging in the dirt and all of a sudden maybe one will come up and say, coach, uh, I have to go to the bathroom, something like that. So I'll just say, go find your mom or dad and you know they'll take you and then you can come right back. So there's there are a lot of different things they'll be doing. You know, After one or two innings, they usually get bored and we usually play three innings. So um, by the second inning, you know, they're all kind of antsy, wondering what they're going to have for snack, you know, at the end of the game. So you just want to try to keep them on task the best way you can. You know, they're four or five and six year olds. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not an easy job sometimes, but just do the best you can. Make sure you get all the help from your coaches that you can. You got to do that. It's very important to get coaches right in the beginning of the season. Maybe when you call up the parents, you know, to introduce yourself, you can ask for help that way, or you can wait till your first practice and say, anybody want to volunteer to coach, or, you know, coach on defense, and anybody want to coach a base? So, like I said before, don't, can't do it all yourself. Get plenty of help, and I've been very fortunate in my years of coaching T-ball that I have a lot of parents helping me out, and I appreciate that very much. So I guess that's about it for today, but um, it's really tough to keep them on task, but you can do it. Use your imagination. And I guess that's about it for today. So this is Coach Jerry saying, baseball rocks. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.